you are watching Redicon. Hi, I'm going to talk about knee MRI. I'm going to present how to assess menisci, cruciate ligaments, medial collateral ligament, posterior lateral corner injury, uh, cartilage or osteochondral lesions, and some tricks and tricks uh, to avoid uh, unnecessary uh, overcalls uh, while reporting knee MR. Menisci, the medial meniscus is the uh, is chrysanthetic shape with the larger posterior horn uh, as compared to the anterior horn and the uh, lateral meniscus of a C-shaped structure. Meniscal tears can be defined uh, into three or four different types, so horizontal tears, longitudinal tears, radial tears, oblique tears and complex tears. Complex tear is whenever there is combination of more than one type of a tear uh, in a meniscus. The displaced horizontal tear is called flap tear, the displaced longitudinal uh, tear is called bucket handle tear and uh, oblique tear can be called uh, parrot beak or displaced radial tear. So this is an example of a horizontal tear where you can see signal change at, uh, at the posterior horn of the medial meniscus uh, reaching the articular surface which is inferior or tibial. Uh, this is a classic example of a horizontal tear which is most of the time a degenerative type tear. This is an example of a longitudinal tear where the red arrow, uh, you can see there is a signal change which reaches the under surface um, of the meniscus. Uh, the appearances are suggestive of an uh, under surface longitudinal tear. And this is at the periphery, so it can heal by itself as we know there is peripheral vascular uh, blood supply to the uh, menisci. Here is an example of an oblique parrot beak tear. And you see the signal change uh, which is obliquely oriented. Some people call it oblique tear, but it resembles a parrot beak, therefore some people rightly call it parrot beak tear. Here is an example of a complex tear. So there are two components to the tear. One is a horizontal component which you can see here uh, highlighted by the uh, red arrows and there is an arrowhead pointing towards a longitude. Uh, a longitudinal tear which reaches the under surface. So this is a combination of horizontal and longitudinal tear therefore you can describe it as a complex tear. And here is an example of a flap tear where there is a flap tear of the body of the uh, medial meniscus and you see this uh, rounded low signal instancy structure um, along the uh, border of the medial tibial condyle deep to the MCL. So you can see the MCL running down here as a black low signal intensity structure. Uh, and this is the body of the medial meniscus and this structure should not be there. So this is a flap tear of the body of the medial meniscus. Here is an example of a radial tear uh, where you see a disrupted bow tie sign. These uh, parts should be joining with each other like a bow tie but you can see there is a blunting and truncation of the both ends of uh, the lateral uh, meniscus. And you can see on the axial sequences as well, there is a big gap between the anterior and posterior horn. So this is almost a full thickness radial tear. Here is an example of a, a ghost meniscus sign or empty meniscus sign where you can see, uh, so we are on the medial side of the knee. Uh, so this is the anterior horn of the medial meniscus. As you can see here, you, uh, you cannot appreciate the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. Uh, so it's all, it's, it's absent. So uh, it's a classic example of a radial tear. Here is an example of a bucket handle tear uh, where you see uh, the handle of the bucket as if it has uh, displaced into the intercondylar fossa uh, and this is a double PCL sign. So this is the original or the native PCL and you see another structure almost following the configuration of the PCL just deep to it. So this is the displaced meniscal fragment which is flipped anteriorly. Here is the anterior horn of the meniscus, here is the displaced flipped bucket handle component. So you can describe it as a floppy flipped bucket handle tear. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, please visit www.radicon.org.